Hey friends, I'm still here recording videos <laughs> so we can discuss these inks. I think I mentioned that I have been very, very eager for December to start because I had, when I started swatching these inks in November, I was like, oh my God, these colors are so good. Um, so anyway, let's get going with, um, with Monday's color. We didn't talk about Monday's color, which is day 12. This was Memory Lane, right? Let me see. Was that just Shimmer? I think it is just Shimmer, not like a chameleon. Yes, it's just Shimmer. And can we talk about this font? Like, I almost thought this said Memory Zone, right? That L looks like a Z. So if you think the same way, then I'm glad. I was, I was very confused at first, friends. So this was a cute color. This almost reminds me of like Alice in Wonderland, um, that cat. You know, this would be perfect for that collection. Uh, and again, you know, maybe it's me and my shimmer luck. But over here, I started out really, really well with like how the ink was going down. And I remember, I think... Uh, what was I watching? I think Wednesday was on the background. But over here, like, look at this portion. It's just like, I don't know if I was tired or if I gave up, but it just looks way lighter than this portion. But overall, it was a pretty great color. Um, I would love to try it without shaking the bottle so that the shimmer just stays down in the basement where it's supposed to be. <laughs> uh, but it looks like a great color it was super fun and i love my little swatch my little abstract thing day 13 this is tuesday oh this is upon a star and i think this is like chameleon yeah let me just make sure yes that was most definitely a chameleon color and i hope you're able to see on your screen But yeah, I love this. Um, I loved the shade of blue. I don't think I have a shade quite like it. So it was very nice to see this color. Um, the sheen is not like super strong. So that was also nice. Um, and overall, it behaved really well considering that this had shimmer in it in the because of the chameleon properties of the ink. Um, looking at looking at this in person, I do see a little bit of like the shimmer in the words, but I I would I think I would like to have this in my collection, um, and I I don't think I would mind using it with the shimmer, but I probably would opt to not. Okay, this if you know me. You already know how I feel about this ink. It's insane. It's so beautiful. It's insane. Um, I, when I swatched it and I opened my notebook, I almost lost it. <laughs> it's so nice. It's such a rich, deep, like yellow, mustard yellow color. This is just perfect. Where is my my pen i have a uh, a sailor pen that would be fantastic for this um for this ink of course it's like somewhere else and not at my desk but this is just beautiful just look even i just look at the just look at how it looks right there just it's just there being beautiful don't mind me Oh, anyway, sorry. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> it's got, you can see the beautiful shading over here in this portion. Just super nice. Overall, a very pleasant ink. I love this golden tone. Can it go in here in this pen? Probably. But if this is a little bit more orange than I would like. Um, but yeah, this is definitely one of the inks I need in my collection from this collection. <laughs> I need in my collection from this collection. Wow. Okay. Uh, I am very curious to know your thoughts on this ink because I love it. I hope you guys love it too. 
Uh, it's very toasty here, like very nice and dark. So let me know. I think let's look at um, if you are familiar with the podcast I was a part of, Tinterias, which is a Spanish podcast. We had a collection of inks um, by Sailor. And we have a color that's pretty similar to it. I don't think it's quite like it. Oh, yeah, here we go. That is okay. So the tortilla one is a little bit has a little bit more like of a brownish tone to it. But this is beautiful. This uh, three kings. Sorry, I completely forgot to tell you the name. <laughs> Did I tell you the name of the one before it? Yeah, upon a star. Three kings. So anyway, yeah, I need this in my collection. Let me know your thoughts, please. Let's see. Let's move on to tomorrow's or I'm sorry, the following day, whatever. Day 15. This was fun. Pick me up. Day 15. This was on Thursday. And this is labeled as a scent. <laughs> Oh, and sheen yes. color sorry my puppy is right next to me he wants to be loved right now but i'm pretty busy puppy i'm sorry he, he wants he wants love okay back to but this was so fun friends i i think i need this ink um do i have browns in my collection i think i have a few but look at the sheen like just like the sheen right here and I know it's because I'm writing over, like, a pool of ink. But it's just such a cool effect. And, like I I said before, probably in another, another video, I, I did a lot of my writing in the evening when it was a little bit dark. So, as you write and you have a little hint of light over here from the lamp, the sheen was just really, really cool. So... I I love this ink. It's so dark. Like you can you can still use it in professional settings probably, um, but it's still fun. So and I can definitely see a lot of the sheen in the words. So yeah. As far as the scent, um, it had a subtle scent when I was writing with the the no not even when I was writing. I just I smell it in the in the sample bottle, but I couldn't really smell it when I was writing. So when I saw that it was scented, I'm like, oh, that's interesting. What does this smell like? Because you can smell spruce right away. It smells like you know like pine trees or something like that. But this was just I. What does it smell like? I don't even remember. I think like. Let me see. Okay, it's like. I don't know, like a soft hint of caramel. I don't know. I'll have to check what everybody else says because it's like maybe toffee. I don't. I I'm not familiar with those scents, so that's probably what that smells like. So okay, great ink. I think I need this ink. So let me know your thoughts, please. Next day, day sixteen. Ooh, serendipity. This was beautiful. I think this is a chameleon. Let me look really quick. Okay, now this is just labeled as a shimmer and sheen ink. So yeah, you can definitely see uh, both shimmer and the sheen, uh, mainly in the big like swatch of ink. It's a nice teal color. Uh, not bad. I think you can again, you can use it probably in a professional setting and still be fun. Uh, I guess probably don't shake the bottle so you don't get like your professional pages full of shimmer, you know, but it was a nice little color. And I don't think from looking at my pages, I don't think I had any issues with it. So overall, a nice little color. I liked it. Day 16. So let's move on to day 17. Oh, this one was fun. This was flame. Um, and... This was so such a great experience to write with. I actually enjoyed it. And you know I'm not like a huge orange um, person. But this was very, very pleasant. It behaved really well. Has great little shading. You can see here. Um, yeah. It's nice. It's a nice color. I like it. 
um i think i dropped some water here which is why it looks like that so ignore that but the main swatches of ink that's the that's the color for sure day 17 okay last day oh my god yes olive swirl i remember this one was this was one of my favorites and that is definitely a chameleon color you can see here in these parts you can see how the shimmer changes from like gold to green it's really really good and the color is so nice that olive green color i don't think i have something maybe i have like a wearing ghoul that may look similar to it oh uh, let me see okay yeah yes i i have one it's called path and it's also a shimmery ink, but the olive swirl was definitely lighter. Path is darker and with the gold shimmer, but olive swirl was very, very, very pleasant to write with. And again, I don't think I had any issues with it. It's got great shading, so I liked it. Probably with block letters, you would see more of that darker color than with cursive um but yeah overall great day 18 okay so this was yesterday's color so i won't go into tomorrow's um but i forgot to mention that i was silly and i accidentally purchased two ink vent calendars instead of one <laughs> I don't I must have forgotten that I ordered one from a different store so I ordered it from a different one but anyway um I don't know what it, what to do with it so I figured I may as well just do a giveaway so friends um I think I think the rules of the giveaway I think the rules of the giveaway will be for you to let me know um your favorite color from each of the four videos that i will be posting with because there will be a total of four videos i have one more coming and let me know your favorite colors as well as what the swatch looks like to you you know how we mentioned that one of them looked like uh butterfly wings this one so let me know what you see in these you know i think it'll be fun to play that game what what do you see uh, and if you want to like grab a screenshot and maybe rotate the, the image that will also work This actually looks like a lotus flower, you know, anyway, I think those are the rules just um, So just keep watching and I I guess I will tell you in the next video where to post your responses and so let me figure that out in the next like five minutes and um, I'll let you know. So anyway, see you guys on the next video uh, and by that time, it will have been Christmas, I think, the day before. So, um, ahead of time. No, no, I'll just, I'll wish you a Merry Christmas in the next video. How about that? Okay. But for now, happy holidays, because I know there's uh, other holidays besides Christmas that are happening around this time of the year. So happy holidays, and I'll see you again soon. Okay. Bye-bye.